<laughs> it is crazy. Man, it doesn't get old. Catching springtime crappies. And what's so great about it is the system, of course, is so darn simple. Now there's a lot of floats that you can choose from. Nice little crappie. Actually, we'll keep that one. Here we go, Jeremy. You know, like I was saying, this is such a simple system. Typically, it involves a jig. And I love the VMC Moon Eye. If you haven't fished these, you'll fall in love with them. It's got a cool head design. It's that aspirin head, so it's super versatile, but it's also got a dynamite hook for holding on to these things. But then when it comes to the cork side, there's so many different options on what to choose for a cork. So we're gonna share with you why certain corks perform better in certain situations. When it comes to floats or corks, there are basically two different styles. One is a slip and one is a clip. Today we're using the classic clip float. This works best when you're fishing sparse submerged cover. We simply clip out a measured amount of line. In this case, the jig is roughly three to four feet below the float. This allows you to work the bait back and it will stay at that predetermined depth. The slip float, on the other hand, works its best in heavy emergent cover. The compact system lands into tough to reach places and the jig drops directly below the float. Like we said earlier, crappies can be low light feeders and that's when a lighted bobber comes into play. The VMC lighted float is water activated. This is the perfect slip float for any situation, sun up to sundown. 